I said, yeah, babe, I use this for gym, yeah, nothing special. And she said, wow, this is great. And she was going crazy. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in today. Today I want to show you some cheap fragrances that are really, really good and that a lot of people don't know. Of course, some of them are known like this one, but I will show you some fragrances that are not on this table that you really have to consider trying. Before we start with the video, guys, thank you very much for supporting this channel. I read all your comments and I'm very happy that you like the video. So let's start with the video. And the first fragrance I want to show you, or that I want to mention, is Perry Alice 360 Red. This is a fragrance that has a really weird flanker. It <clears throat> reminds me of something. I don't know why, maybe you can help me. <laughs> but this is a very nice fragrance. I have owned this fragrance, I don't own it right now, but this fragrance smells a lot, I mean like 90% like Aqua Di Gio by Armani. So you have the Club de Nuit effect, you have a more or less expensive fragrance that you have a copy of and that is very, very cheap. I think like 20 bucks. In addition to that, it performs better and projects better. When I have worn this fragrance, I got a lot of compliments, I can remember, and to be honest, I don't know why I don't have this fragrance right now. Over the years, I just, I don't know, I just forgot about it. Definitely try this one out. Great projection, very masculine, fresh fragrance and very good compliment factor. The next one is a fragrance that is a legend. I will not talk a lot about this fragrance because I don't want you to get yeah, annoyed because you have heard about it so often. It is Nordica Voyage. This is a fragrance I will always own in my collection. When it's empty, I will always buy it again because I think for after the shower, like now, it is a great one. When I want to smell fresh for myself, I just want to smell clean and fresh, I always apply this one. You can never do wrong with wearing this one. You can wear it in every situation. Plus, in general, with, this, with these cheap fragrances, you can also, and you should, overspray them because, I mean, they are not expensive and I personally like overspray. Don't be a sissy sprayer. And for the people that don't know what a sissy sprayer is, Curly Fragrance always says this, sissy sprays are like, one, two, enough. Don't do it. Enjoy your fragrance. The next one is a legend. Absolute legend. Also a fragrance I will always own and I have to talk about it. I'm sorry, maybe sometimes I repeat myself, but what, what can I do? I mean, I want to be honest with you and that's why I will repeat myself again with this one. It is Club de Nuit and you really have to own this one because it's cheap and if you calculate like cheap factor and compliment factor and longevity factor and projection factor, everything in one equation, this one would be pretty high on this ranking because it's cheap, great projection, unbelievable scent, pineapple, Quida Ventus, fresh, summer, great fragrance. You smell expensive, unbelievable projection. If you don't know it, now you know, try it out. The next one is Miro Cabal. I don't know if you can buy this in the US. I think yes. It is a copy of Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, but wow, wow, wow. This is very interesting. It smells better than Le Mal. I have worn this in my high school time. If you are a high school person, definitely check this one out. I will always remember one incident. A girl saw me using this fragrance and then she smelled it and then she said to me ah wow this is the scent you always smell like and i said what do you mean i always have smelled this fragrance when you when you came to the classroom or when i was sitting next to you and she thought this was just my general scent of my body or i don't know and she was blown away when she saw that this is actually a fragrance so also great great signature scent try this one out miro cabal smells like le mal but a little yeah, how can you say it? It's a different sweetness. It's not sweeter or less sweet, it's just a different sweetness in your nose. And yeah, feels very good to smell it. And the projection, in my opinion, and longevity is better. Okay, so now let's talk about Zara fragrances. This one right here is called Zara Rich, Warm and Addictive. The name of it pretty much says all about this fragrance. Wow. It is a tobacco vanilla fragrance. This is the best way to describe it. Sitting at a fireplace, with your girlfriend, evening time, and you want to cuddle. Yeah, it smells like this in my opinion. I find it pretty interesting that it really smells addictive, like it says right here, and also warm. It's so interesting that fragrances can give you like feelings that you feel warm or cold. Very interesting. In my opinion, this has a great, great projection. In general, with Zara fragrances, don't expect too much in projection and longevity. This one, when I apply it, I smell it also hours later. So be careful when you spray it. Perfect cuddle fragrance. When you want to do Netflix and chill, I mean, really, Netflix and chill, guys. It's a perfect fragrance for that. Just a perfect cuddle with your girlfriend fragrance. Great one, also very cheap. Yeah, my dog is a little angry about something. I don't know why, but he's a guard dog, so he's always angry about <laughs> every noise. The next one is Lacoste Edition Blanc. Or Blanc, Blanche, Blanc? Yeah, I don't know how, it's, how to say it. It is this one. 
if I have to describe this fragrance, I would say one word, gym. It smells like going to the gym, doing activity, very, very masculine fragrance. I always have this fragrance in my gym bag, so I never forget it. By now, when I smell it, I always think about gym because my brain just connected this fragrance with gym time. Ladies really like this one and you know why it is a very interesting fragrance? Because it smells very, very simple. A very simple, manly fragrance. When I showed this to my girlfriend, I said, yeah, babe, I use this for gym, yeah, nothing special. And she said, wow, this is great. And she was going crazy. And I was getting mad because I own expensive fragrances that I like to use. And I hate when she says about cheap fragrances, wow, they are great because I always feel like I'm, yeah, I wasted my money. <laughs> Guys, but I will tell you the truth. And at the end of the day, the reaction matters. And this one definitely gets a great reaction. The next fragrance I really, really enjoy and also should be a must have if you're looking for cheap fragrances is Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Very, very nice ladies magnet. It is cheap, a little more expensive than this one, but still in the cheap category, definitely. It smells metallic, masculine, and fresh and sexy. Weird combination, but it really works. Great projection, great, great projection, great longevity. It is not the most special fragrance by now because some people know it, but still, when you wear it, nobody will say, oh, it's Invictus. Why do we wear Invictus? It's a great fragrance. Ladies love it. The next one is also a copy of a very expensive fragrance. It is called Oud for Glory and it is a copy of Oud for Greatness. Now with this fragrance, I'm careful when I recommend it because it smells like wood obviously and it smells very masculine and also sexy i bought this and i like that i have it but i don't use it i know people that really like this one also ladies my girlfriend really really likes this one but she can like it however she likes if i don't like it i cannot wear it sorry so this fragrance you can check it out because it's very very cheap like 15 or 20 bucks it's not my style but i know that a lot of people like it and it also has a very nice projection so when I tried this on I smelled this a long time but definitely a must-have to check out if you want to explore some cheap fragrances the next one is Mont Blanc Explorer now this one maybe you could say why is it on the this cheap fragrance list because it depends sometimes it is very cheap when you want to buy it for example right now you can buy it for 30 bucks here in Germany a fragrance that also smells like Rita Ventus you could argue that it is like this direction Club de Nuit limited edition and it is definitely is but there are still some differences it smells a little different not so harsh in the nose the ambroxan is not as present as in Club de Nuit great great ladies reaction but keep in mind the longevity is not the best so for fragrances that don't have a great longevity they are perfect for Netflix and chill or yeah when you go to your girlfriend or something and just want to hang out with her so not for the public the last one I have to mention is Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Also from these fragrances, the most expensive, but still yeah, more kind of cheap fragrance. It smells like bubble gums. A lot of people say it's the party king. And yes, it definitely smells nice. I have to admit that it's not my favorite one because it's just, it's a candy bomb. <laughs> it's really a candy bomb. So I know that ladies love it. My girlfriend goes crazy about this fragrance. So if you want to go party, if you want to go to a house party, to hang out with girls. Trust me, try this one. Women go crazy about this fragrance. This is a very special formula for women, I don't know. But it is a little bit the same like this one. I I don't enjoy it as much. So the bottle is pretty full, it's like this full, so you can see I don't use it a lot. So yeah guys, this is my list of great cheap fragrances that you definitely have to check out. Please write me down in the comments if you can recommend other cheap fragrances. Thank you very much for supporting the channel again. I, I can't say it enough. I did a pause for two months or three months and, and right now I'm very motivated to do more videos. And I can't wait to start the new year with new fragrances, with new reviews and recommendations. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye. Which one I will wear tonight? Yeah. I think I will go with the Zara one. Let's do it. Whoa, let's get some compliments. <laughs>